Hi everyone and welcome to another Mama Elephant video. This is Rena. Today we're going to do a tutorial on the Mini Milk Box 3D Creative Cuts dies. Here's a little sample of what the die can create. There's different ways to seal the top. Also, there's different accessory dies that cut out windows and doors. So here's what the full die set looks like. The biggest die, you will need to cut out two of these and that'll create the shape of the milk box. So that's the base die. This die set also comes with a ton of accessory pieces that you can use to decorate your milk box. First up, we have a little fence die, and you can cut as many as you want of these and adhere them to the base of the milk box. We also have some grass, and you can put that grass alone or kind of layer it in front of the fence for a different look. Here we have a window that you can adhere directly to the milk box. There's also some dies that cut out these cute little shutters that you can adhere next to the window. There's also two little dies that cut out circles that you can use for shutter pulls. There's also a door and you can use those same circle dies to create the knob. There's also a die that cuts a hole onto the base piece and then you can layer the window or the door on top of it. The window and the door have the same size opening so you can use that one die for both if you want to see through the milk box. There's also a roof piece and it has holes and the holes line up with the base of the milk box. You can also use this little handle and of course all of these accessory pieces are optional to use. You can just use whatever combination you would like to decorate your milk box. So let's put a couple of these milk boxes together. I've cut out my two base pieces and I do want the openings. So I'm taking my die and I'm die cutting the openings where I want them. I'm doing two windows and a door. The die cuts out or scores some score lines so it's easy for you to put the box together. And I always like to reinforce the score lines and pre-fold all of my pieces whenever I make um, kind of a 3D or interactive die. I think it just comes out better if you rescore and you fold everything so everything lines up really nicely. So we will also have that triangle section of the carton of the milk box and I'm just kind of working those folds so when we put the milk box together the milk box will naturally form that triangle shape at the top. The two base pieces have the little flap. I'm going to use some score tape and I will adhere these two pieces together and then once that initial piece is down, I'm going to fold this piece in half and fold in that flap. And that's how we're going to start forming the box. While my milk box is in this sort of flat position, I'm gonna go ahead and layer my window and door pieces onto the openings that we created with that die. Um, again, that die, that creates the opening, you can use that both for the window and the door. The openings are the same size. I'm also using that little circle die cut to create a little knob on my door. And I purposefully made the color combination on this milk box black and white because I just love me a white house with some black trim. So we're, that's why I'm using that color combination. <laughs> and we're going to seal the bottom of this milk box. So you can already see how it's forming and we're just going to adhere all of those four flaps together, super easy. I'm using score tape to seal the bottom. 
I'm just making sure that I'm adhering the flaps together as straight as I can and making sure that my box is as straight as possible. So this milk box can be filled with goodies or whatever you like, or you can make it kind of an ornament style so you don't have to fill it up. Um, I have openings in mine, so mine's going to be an ornament, but you can definitely leave out the openings and sort of make it a closed box and fill it with goodies. I am adding a fence piece to the milk box. Also, I have my roof here and I'm just pre-scoring and folding my roof. I always like to reinforce my score lines anytime there is one on a die cut. Now that our roof is done, we're going to think about what type of closure that we want on top. There's a series of holes on top of the base milk box as well as the roof. The easiest closure that you can do is a clothespin closure, especially if you're gonna do goodies inside. Um, I'm going to do an ornament. So I do like using this optional handle piece. That handle piece is a great way to thread some string to hang it on a Christmas tree or hang it wherever you like. So you can also do a string closure. Um, Jennifer McGuire did this and all of the holes should line up and you should be able to put the string through and I think it's a lot easier with a needle and I believe I'm using an embroidery needle, a, a little bit bigger one um, because my thread was bigger. And then you can just tie a bow on it. I'm actually using that clothespin to keep the top closed so I can nicely tie a bow around the top. And then we're just gonna tie a bow there. Um, for this particular project, I wanted to have string as the ornament on top, so I thought it would be too much string going on to have the string closure. So I'm going to opt for a brad closure, which is personally my preferred way to do the closure on this. I think it looks really clean to use the brads, and then also I am gonna use some string um, around that handle piece so I won't have <laughs> competing strings if you will um, so yeah I think the brads look really slick I think that's my favorite way to close the milk box so I did color up some of the little Santa agendas these guys are so adorable and so I am making a little Christmas ornament here. And then I'm just going to put a Santa on each side of my milk box. So there's something to look at on each side of the box. These little agenda stamps are the perfect size to sort of accessorize your milk box. The second box we're gonna do, I'm using Little Fairy Agenda and I'm super excited about it. So this particular box that we're working on right now is going to be an ornament. So I'm gonna take some peppermint colored twine and then I'm going to tie the ends together so it creates a circle and then I'm just going to loop it through that handle so it'll have a nice place to put the string so you can hang it on your tree so I do like using that accessory handle piece just for the purpose of having a place to put your twine on to hang it on the tree. I wanted to add a little bit more to my ornament. So you guys know I love shred. I'm just sort of filling this up with shred just for some added color and then just to sort of add a heaviness to it. So here's my final project. I loved the way it turned out. And like I said, I love black and white houses. <laughs> Once you know how to make your basic milk box, it's kind of fun to mix it up. So I'm going to kind of make um, a fun one. I'm going to make a little fairy one using the little fairy agenda. So I cut out my base piece using purple paper. And then I'm also doing some stamping on it with my wild meadow stamp. I think this stamp goes really well with the little fairy agenda. I'm using Distress Oxide ink and sort of making a little 
floral pattern on my base piece and this is just colored paper it's not like a watercolor paper but I am doing like some quick water brush on the distress oxide ink just to make that ink smear all around and once I've smeared the ink I'm going to stamp it again using the Distress Oxide ink so that the lines of the stamp will show. And it just gives it a little bit more dimension when you use the water brush to kind of switch that color around and then stamp it after you've switched the color around um, just to define the lines. I'm going to do a tone on tone window. So I've cut it out on purple as well. And then I'm going to reinforce my score lines and pre-fold um, my two base pieces. I loved the way this Wild Meadows stamp came out too. I loved the way that it looked. It just added a little bit more to my base piece. It's really important to reinforce your score lines. Um, also, it, it's really important when you're using thick paper as well. Um, and then kind of working those folds in. So when you adhere the two base pieces together, it will kind of mold into that milk carton shape. So I'm using score tape. I'm putting it on the two tabs of the base piece. And then I'm going to adhere these two base pieces together. And then I'm going to fold it in half, fold the tab in, and that'll start creating my box. So as you can see, it's starting to form its shape. I'm going to work on the roof and I'm just reinforcing my score lines. I am doing an ornament style, so I am using that handle. And I decided to use the same color handle as the roof, so it looks more cohesive, and so the color doesn't sort of break apart. And then I'm going to add my little handle. I'm going to do a brad closure on this one. Um, and I did fill up my milk box with some purple shred, just like my other one. I just like the way it looked. It just felt more fancy and it just, the shred gives it a little bit of weight. And I just like the way the ornament feels with that extra weight and that extra color. Um, so I am putting these two brads in and I think that's the easiest way to close your milk box. I did cut out several of the little fences and I think this is just adorable and I love how it is the exact size that it needs to be so it's super easy to put together and I'm just going to do one on each side. I, did, I opted with no door for this one. I'm not sure why <laughs> but there's no door um, and I did pre-color some fairies and I am going to place them, I think, on the back and the front. I think with the Santa one, I did one on each side for this. I'm just going to do um, two fairies in the front and two fairies in the back. And I just love these images. Um, I believe I colored these with my Arteza Real Brush markers. And I am just loving that watercolor look. Um, and sort of like lay, layering the watercolor. Um, so I'm just quickly adhering my fairies onto their little house using the Art Glitter Glue. And this one is the Dries Clear version with the metal tip. I'm going to finish off my little ornament milk box with some twine. I'm kind of doing the same way that I did my Santa one. I'm going to tie the two ends together and then I'm going to loop it through the handle just so I have somewhere to put the twine on and hang it on my tree. So that is what that looks like. This was super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed these projects. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the Mama Elephant YouTube channel and tap on that bell to be notified of future videos. 
Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.